I'm proud to say I've only sneezed twice today. High pressure, as you can see, continues to move across Texas, and that's keeping skies clear across the area. Of course, bringing in a very dry air mass along with the cooler temperatures. And that high will continue to slide eastward, and as it moves on to the east, of us will pick up a south wind. That'll be happening earlier in the week. Low temperatures this morning in the mid 40s. That's about 10 degrees roughly below the average for this time of the year, and we'll be close to those readings again tomorrow. Temperatures right now have warmed up into the 70s, and these temperatures still a little bit below what the average highs are for this time of the year, which is in the upper 70s. Again, that high continues to slide across Texas. We've still got a north wind blowing, but as those winds swing back out of the south, we'll start to warm up, and that's going to be the trend as we go through the week. The cold front that came through yesterday and brought the thunderstorms to the area, including at least one tornado in Louisiana, has moved to the Atlantic coast, and that's where you find the warmest temperatures like we had yesterday, but that front will continue to move on out into the Atlantic and by noontime tomorrow it should be offshore and high pressure settling in will start to drive the clouds and the rain out ahead of that system. Uh, snow continues to fall across the Great Lakes and that is going to continue through the day tomorrow and then on into Tuesday we'll start to see that move up into Canada. Here in Texas we'll have dry conditions until we get into Tuesday at uh, noontime and we'll start to see a few showers develop perhaps to our west. Next best chance of rain though is going to come Wednesday when we could have a, a few thunderstorms right now not looking at severe weather with this system and that'll be developing east of the dry line that brown line that you see out in the western part of Texas that's uh, where the uh, dividing line is between the very moist air to the east and the very dry air back out to the west another cold front will be approaching there on Thursday moving into the panhandle and by the weekend it'll be bringing some cooler temperatures to the east Texas area expect an overnight low of 47 degrees with clear skies tonight northwest winds they'll get lighter as that high slides on top of us and then as we go into the day tomorrow we'll swing around out of the southwest on our winds but we'll have sunny skies warming up to 78 in the afternoon that's about where we expect to be this time of the year over the next seven days tuesday we'll have a windy day with gusts up to 25 miles per hour hitting 80 degrees wednesday slight chance of a few showers and thunderstorms 64 to 80 your temperatures slightly higher chance there on thursday 67 all the way up to 85 in the afternoon afternoon and then Friday we go 62 to 82 some showers possible cooler temperatures as you see will be rolling in by the time the weekend gets here as we'll be seeing readings drop another 10 to 15 degrees back down to near 70 for the high for a couple of days uh, next weekend. For Deep East Texas you got a good start to your week as well 79 expected tomorrow and 80 degrees on Tuesday then you'll have a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms Wednesday a much better chance on Thursday and the showers are possible Friday on into Saturday and Sunday and over the weekend deep east Texas will also be turning cooler with highs there in the low to mid 70s. Lauren. Thank you, John.